Welcome to the review of Open Heavens Daily Devotional for 18th April 2024. Our topic today is your day. Your day. And our Bible text is taken from Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 5. But before we read, let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you. Thank you for another day to be alive. Thank you, Father, for your love for us. Thank you for the power in your word. Thank you for your presence in our lives. Thank you for the privilege to reveal today's devotional, to look closely at your word and learn. Father, teach our hearts, O oh God, and help us to walk according to your will in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen. Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 5, but I read verse 3 to 5 from the New King James Version. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Genesis chapter 1 speaks to us about how God created the earth and then of course day happened or day was first described in verse 5 where the Bible says that God calls the light day and then darkness is called night, evening, morning, the first day. But the day is not only divided to the evening and the morning. We actually have morning, noon, and night. And we see that in Psalm 55, where David said, Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. So between one evening and another evening, we have the day and we have the noon, and then evening again. And the Bible says to us in Psalm 90 verse 12, it says, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. And it means that day is important in the scheme of things because it is a measure of life. It's a unit that God uses to measure light. All of our years is actually broken down into days. So for every single day that we live, when we accumulate all of the days that we have lived in a year, we say we have lived a year and another year and another year. So indeed, we really need to know how to number our days that we might apply our hearts to wisdom as we're growing older. But the topic today, your day, actually takes its main focus from the fact that as human beings, that noon, evening, morning is present in our lives. And our memory verse today, Psalm 90 verse 6 says, In the morning it flourisheth and groweth up, and in the evening is cut down and withereth. And this shows us that growth happens in the morning. You know, being birthed, be, being birthed, being young happens in the morning. Flourishing happens earlier in our lives. But when it comes to evening, there is a sort of decline. There is a cut down. There is a withering that is possible. And according to what Daddy Gio taught us in today's devotional, he explained to us that when we are growing up as children, that is our morning and it's a time where there is there are no responsibilities we don't really care so much but when we get to noon we start you know growing older responsibilities fall on us things happen and noon is the peak of the day it's a peak of one's life is a time where the sun is shining brightness brightest and we also shine brightest in our noon we have strength in our noon the bible speaks of people like eli who towards the end of their lives their eyes they you know, began to wax dim 
the big the, there was you know experience of a decline and we have seen that around us as well we have you know family members loved ones neighbors people we know from afar who are growing older and they're in their 80s and their 90s and we can see the decline that happens with age and for us as well i mean many years ago while i was so much younger as a child i didn't have a care in this world but i am currently at the noon of my life and i'm excited to be strong and alive praise the lord so it's important that we are mindful of how we are spending our day are you in the morning time are you in the noon time are you getting closer to your evening or you are already in the evening indeed psalm 90 verse 12 says teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom and this also shows us that towards the end of our lives there is a time where strength is not as available but wisdom needs to be high so that our hearts will be applied to a higher level of wisdom and our reflection today says what part of your day on earth are you currently in are you thinking closely about how you're spending your time and your days? Are you thinking closely about what season of life that you are? I pray for all of us in the name of Jesus that we will not waste our daytime. We will not waste our noontime. And we'll be strong and alive and impactful and full of wisdom even in our evening time. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because we know this is possible in you. It's possible through you, possible through your wisdom, possible through your power, possible through your enablement, because indeed, apart from you, we can do nothing. We give you praise, our Father. Thank you, Jesus, for we've prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.